Hello to everybody and their moms and welcome to the season finale of Exposed. First, if you're new here, hi, my name is Kristen. Um, Exposed is a series I do here where I test hacks, trends, literally anything and everything that you guys want me to try and I give you my honest opinions on it. Essentially, it saves you money and time, so you're welcome. Today we are testing um, the Il Maquillage Foundation. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I think it's Il Maquillage. Personally, based off of the videos and the ads and the pictures I've seen, it doesn't look like it's going to work for me. I'm gonna be very blunt, I'm gonna be very honest. So if it doesn't work, trust me, you will know. But since I have us on screen together, I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull up the test. We're gonna go to the site together. Let's see, my skin type. I actually have combination skin, so I get like dry around my nose and then oily around everywhere else. I kind of want a buildable foundation, so I think I'm gonna go like, yeah, it says buildable, perfect. Medium to full. What kind of finish are you looking for? I like a natural look, I really do. I know I just said I like a full coverage, but um, natural is something I really like. So now they're going to show us some photos. Oh my God, I hate doing these because I can never freaking tell. Okay, I'm actually gonna go talk to my sister and have her help me out. So we went with deep. Um, and so she told me that this first one looks like it probably matched me the most. Okay, next. Which of these best matches your skin tone part two? Love, I'm gonna, oh my God, I don't wanna get clowned. Let's go with number two. We're gonna go with number two. Okay, we're almost done. Which one is your best match? It's gotta be two or three. Okay, Sydney said I should go with two. My undertones I know are yellow, gold, and warm. During December, my skin color gets lighter. That's a fact. I apply with a brush, actually. And I typically do either a moisturizer or a primer. Often do I wear foundation probably two to four days per week. And then what brand am I currently using? They literally don't have the foundation on here that I use every day, that's tragic. But I'm just gonna click that I can't find my brand. How long you've been using your current foundation? I've been using it less than six months. And my biggest skin concerns, I have dry flaky skin, grease and oil, and I have big pores. I'm under 21 as of right now. They're calculating it. Okay, so they're giving me the woke up like this flawless base foundation in the shade 165. Looking at it, it actually looks like it could be my skin color. I'm not going to lie. Well, just so that we can hold each other accountable, today is Wednesday, December 9th. It is 11, 12 p.m. Um, and we are going to see when it comes in the mail. I will keep you guys posted and I will be back when the foundation is here. All right, so I'm back. Um, as you probably just saw from the previous clip, the date was December 9th when I ordered the package. Um, it eventually arrived um, December 16th. So quite literally a week. It did say three to seven days. So seven days, it made it in time. So that's good if you're curious about shipping. Now, because this is a review, I wanna share things that like, I would wanna know if I was purchasing this product. So they do put a hold on your account. It is a temporary hold. However, if you do not have um, enough money to cover the entire cost of the actual makeup, um, yikes. Like make sure you have at least 50 bucks in your account before you order it because yes, they will snatch your five bucks, but then that hold of like, I believe it's like $44 stays on your account. And honestly, <laughs> when I initially saw that, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was testing this for just a couple of days. You know, I haven't even gotten my stuff yet. You know, you can go to their website and they kind of explain why they do that. And I don't know, I got my stuff, so I'm not mad enough. So you will receive a little box that's like this. 
Oh, it's cute. Okay, so let's read what the top part says. It says how it works. Try the products. These products are yours to try for 14 days, starting on the day they were delivered. The inside has some little, you know, little, a little moment. I don't even know what to call these because it's like not confetti, but I don't know. It's cute. Now inside, I also get this card. And so this card says over 75% of women get foundation wrong, get yours right. So this is gonna, okay, we're gonna use this as literally the guide to put this makeup on. I am coming to you guys with some moisturizer on my face because I have dry combination skin and then some lip gloss because I didn't want to have chapped lips. I have to be honest with you guys before we even test this out. Um, I don't think it's going to work. I have to say that simply because um, it's just not, does not look like it's going to work. The quiz itself didn't ask me that many questions that would have really been that specific. Like I'm like, okay, how do y'all really know my skin color? Also some of their ads, I'm like, come on now, y'all are lying. Y'all are lying. Like they, in fact, I'm gonna have to just show you guys a clip. In-store swatching is canceled and matching online is impossible. The quiz is really simple, but it asks all the right questions. Somehow they nailed it. Like, I just, I just don't think it's going to work. Oh, wow, this is, this is kind of heavy. Okay, so the box has my foundation in here, which I'm really excited to see if they did a good job with this little quiz. And it looks like they gave me a free gift. I get an eyeliner in ink liner black. So that's everything inside the box besides the packing slip, which again has my address. So I'm gonna keep that to myself. Okay, we're gonna open it together. It's looking. Hello? Wait a minute. Why does this, wait. Why does this actually look like my skin color? That's actually kind of, in, that's kind of insane. That's actually kind of crazy. That looks actually like my, like what? Okay. Ah, all right. Ah, this is kind of crazy. So you open up the cap. It has, it has this little pump moment. Um, I actually like a pump so you can control how much you get, which is kind of nice. The little tutorial slip tells us that we need to apply two pumps to your entire face, jaw, and neckline. Girl, two pumps for full coverage? Two pumps? Okay, we're gonna do what they said. Then step number two says to blend out with a brush or a sponge. I actually have both a brush and a sponge. So we're going to use both one for this side of the face, the other for this side, just cause I want to see if it makes a difference. Then it says to wait five minutes for the foundation to set before checking the shade. We're going to do this. Hi. Okay. Ooh, one, two pumps, ladies and gentlemen, two pumps. That's all I put on here. And, and it says to, okay. She's looking kind of Casper. Hmm. Or maybe not Casper. Maybe Couture Casper. Okay. actually kind of insane because I know y'all saw me just do three little dots so okay now we're gonna use a sponge this side actually has some more dark spots so we'll see if it can really cover it up so I'm gonna take and that's actually still a lot left on here but we're gonna go ahead and I do not like looking stupid. I do not like being told that I was wrong, but this, this is looking like a flawless beat. This is looking like a luscious glam. It's giving me like luminous skin, like literally just my skin. And I haven't even put on concealer, but it did say to wait five minutes. So that's what we're gonna do now. I have waited five minutes and this is looking insane. Um, 
Like how, how in the world, it looks really good. Like I'm actually genuinely impressed. I, like there's not much else I can say except for they kind of snapped. According to step number five, it says for me to finish my face with concealer, blush, and bronzer. So that's literally all we're gonna do. We're not gonna do brows. We're not gonna do mascara. We're not gonna do an eye look or lips. We're literally just going to focus on the face, getting that base on. And then I wanna compare and see what it would look like. Um, just because these are the products I use every single day and I wanna see how that would work with this new foundation. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I have my entire base completed. All of my bronzer, blush, concealer is on my face. I think it looks pretty natural. It looks pretty good um, in relation to my other foundations. But before I talk about it too much, I'm going to give the verdict. <clears throat> on the case of Il Maquillage's Woke Up Like This Foundation versus Kristen. Madame Maquillage has not been I have to give it to them, okay? They proved me wrong. That is kind of hard to say, but I think they did a really nice job with this foundation. I don't know how in the world they were able to accurately match it based off of that quiz because truthfully that quiz was not doing a lot. It was not asking that many questions that I feel like would have provided with an accurate result. So that was really shocking. The only thing that really draws me away from this foundation is its price. Um, I am not a person that drops a lot of money on my foundation personally. Um, I think in comparison to like other brands, maybe Fenty, maybe NARS, you know, maybe MAC, like this is probably a good price. Um, it does retail for $44, but personally, considering the things that I actually need to spend money on, um, dropping almost, you know, half a hundred dollars on some foundation is just not at the top of my priority list. Just to provide a comparison, uh, Juvia's Place, the I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation that I use on a regular basis, my go-to foundation, typically retails for $20, but is actually on sale for $10 right now. So just again, to kind of show, um, you know, another foundation that works for me every single day and my undertones, that's actually a fourth of the price right now uh, versus this one, which is just a little bit too expensive for me. If you do happen to have, you know, enough money to drop on a foundation, I actually would recommend this. I like the way it feels. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation. It doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation. Like I feel like I could go out for an entire day and feel completely, you know, good to go, nice and set, nice and ready. So that's really awesome. So if you are seeing my face, congratulations, you've made it to the end of this video. If you happen to enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know below in the comments, did you think I was going to expose Il Maquillage? What did you think? Do you think you'll try this foundation? I'm just genuinely curious. I always wanna know. So just let me know in the comments. Also, if you're new here, uh, definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm gonna put my weekly subscriber goal on the screen. And if you feel like this is something that you can help me out with, definitely make sure to do so. If you also didn't know right now, I'm hosting a Christmas giveaway. It's actually about to end in a couple of days, especially from the time that I post this video. Um, so definitely make sure to enter before the new year. So thank you guys so much for watching. Come back in the new year to see who we expose next. Happy new year, by the way. And court is adjourned.